and we are back. Raw Status TV, YouTube, The Raw Status Instagram, status underscore raw Twitter. Find us, follow, and friend rawstatus.com. So we're going to take a look at some pictures first of what's going on with this new undercover death squad that the federal government, Donald Trump, and Mr. Barr have now slickly sent out into the American cities to attack people protesting police violence. This is on blackagendareport.com. This is about Barr and his secret police squad. As you know, in Portland, they've basically been running up on people with guns, hitting people with batons. Now, personally, I say what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If somebody unidentified in an unmarked car runs up on me, I'm going to fuck them up. Or I'm going to protect myself by any means necessary. So now, of course, they're talking about, sitting, about sending the, these troops into other cities. Cities such as, you guessed it, Chicago. So they finally got what they wanted. The most populated city in North America when it comes to African Americans. A city where African Americans have a lot of guns. Now we already know that the Chicago police force is very corrupt. We already know again that in Portland this federal police squad, which is probably one of these Blackwater mercenary groups, was basically basically going around starting shit. You saw they assaulted a former army veteran, sprayed him with mace, when he reminded them of, of their oath. But the question is, what's really going on in Chicago? First of all, all of my gangs in Chicago, all of the peoples and all of the folks, all of the vice lords, all of the GDs, what needs to happen? Are you going to allow this secret police group to run up on you? They don't have that kind of authority. We are human beings. Now, if you're willing to kill your brother in the street, are you willing to kill a real threat? This shit right here is unacceptable. This is America. If you're running up on people unidentified and attacking them, you should be killed. That's called self-defense. So again, I ask, what's really going on in Chicago? Ever since that fat cracker Donald Trump has got his fat cracker ass in the, hot, in the White House, I almost said the hospital, I wish that's where he was, he's been talking about Chicago, about gangs in Chicago. Chicago's not even the most violent city in this country, but why are the white supremacists so worried about Chicago? Well, the Nation of Islam is in Chicago. Is that what they mean when they say gangs? That's what Louis Farrakhan said in a speech a couple of years ago. That when they say gangs in Chicago, they mean him. And the Nation of Islam. This is a very serious problem, people. So my question is, what is the solution? You know, Kyrie Irving said a few weeks ago, I don't support going into Orlando, taking away attention from the movement. Well, this is a very serious matter. They are now talking about sending in federal troops to stop legal protesting. And nobody's talking about it. We're all talking about who's going to win, the Lakers or the Clippers. Who gives a fuck? We are under racial assault right now. Kyrie Irving was damn right. So leave your comments in the box. What should a citizen do if they are ran up on by one of these groups of race soldiers pushing a white supremacist agenda? Raw Status TV, we're out.